Ladies and gentlemen, we are three minutes until 8 a.m. Central Time. The Animal Crossing Direct is happening. I am already giddy. All right, we got to stop. I can't stop smiling and giggling. I tried to go to bed last night, but I couldn't. I literally lied in bed for like uh, six hours looking at my phone and uh, watching TV. I really wanted to try and get six hours of sleep last night from like midnight till 6 a.m., but I couldn't. Anyways, this is my re my reaction, obviously, to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Um, so it starts in like under three minutes. I wanted to kind of, you know, get ahead of it here. And uh, so any last minute predictions? That's the thing, like, I don't know about any predictions about what I want to see. Like, there's one thing that I want to see. Other than that, surprise me. Uh, I just want to be able to put... <laughs> I, um, I want to be able to put uh, patterns on the shoes in the game. And even if that's not in there, oh well, whatever. I'm still going to enjoy it. But that will be the one thing that makes me very excited. Um, and other than that, man, I am just ready to hear a lot of information about this game. It is approximately 25 minutes long. And uh, look at Tom Nook. Look at him there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am sleepy, but I'm kind of getting to that stage where I'm a little giddy or something. I don't know. It's weird. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm about to get on a flight. Uh, I don't know why I have butterflies in my stomach. If I had a net, I could catch them and sell them to Tom Nook. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure you guys are very anxious as well. Uh, so I might have started this a little early. We got two minutes to spare. Um, so just to let you know, I am probably going to go to bed right after this. I'm going to upload it right after the reaction and uh, then take a little bit of a nap because I don't want to mess up my sleep schedule too terribly here, although I already have. Um, you can skip forward like a couple minutes or a minute if you don't want to listen to me yammer on until this starts. But uh, so yeah, I'm a little sleepy, but I have a feeling that's not going to affect my excitement. I don't know, maybe should I bring the microphone a little closer? Maybe not. See, I put the microphone kind of far away because I feel like I might be shouting uh, when cool stuff is shown, so. I'm ready. I'm ready. I also, the sun is beaming in my window there, so I'm trying to block it. I'm so excited to cover this game, like to just get it and play it and do video journals. It's gonna be so much fun. We got less than a minute to go. I wonder if the Animal Crossing staff is gonna be in this and like demonstrating things like they did uh, with New Leaf, or if it'll just be a typical voiceover. Really curious how they're gonna go. Here we go! There he is. Oh, he's got a microphone again. <laughs> Greetings to everyone watching our Animal Crossing New Horizons deck. Show us something new, for God's sakes! I know it's been one second, but uh, this year I'm watching a long way to begin. Oh, yeah. Oh, another special one. Deep dive into deserted. Oh, deep dive. Is that referencing diving? So much we want to share, we've had to divide it into three separate parts. Okay, refresher on- Oh, come on, you don't need to give us a refresher, Tom Nook! Why do you need to do that? We'll cover future development plans, and in part three, we'll answer some frequently asked questions. Well, weird? Okay, sort of a weird way of setting this up. How can you already have- Look at his clapping! Holy Lord. Thank you for choosing the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Look at these this landscapes. Is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Oh, Your look at that. That's kind of a unique shape. Island, where it's the little things oh, look at this count. dude. Dink. Oh, nice! Faster way of watering flowers. Oh, oh, look at that summer storm! Look at who! Oh! Yeah. Oh, look at that sunset back there! It's high time we detail the many the features beach. and perks included in the getaway package. The beach looks beautiful. Deep dive into dessert. Oh, green! There's a green one. The local green plane. You'll be met with a deserted island, positively teeming with nature. Listen to this bounty. music. Oh! Trace them back. Oh! Okay! Nice! That's cute! Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere? Yes. Or the southern hemisphere? No, thank you. Don't worry. No matter which you choose, you'll experience all the. Winter in July. You Australians are crazy! 
I still love you, but what the heck? Look at this scene! Look at the winter! Departure date uh -oh. is scheduled for March 20th. That's when look at these camera angles. Oh, look at this dude's hair! That's pretty cool! New hairstyle going on. That's what I, I was thinking that. Oh, look at the atmosphere. Summertime brings its own share of delights. There's my girl back there. Oh, ho, ho. get him! Got him! Look at that dude's got some new hair too. Although we have seen that hairstyle. That guy looked like uh, Kit from Nintendo Minute. Oh, look at that log! It's got mushrooms on it. To gathering autumn leaves. Oh, gathering the leaves. Oh, the snow was glistening. Oh, hello. That's. And the night sky above is particularly spectacular Look at that. this time of year. The Aurora Borealis. When the seasons change, the activities available to you change along with them. Oh. Look at those big seashells! Look at all this cool stuff! Look at that snowman! For your new life. Oh! <laughs> okay, new Not resident orientation. Okay. Look at him. I wonder if there are new animals, like new animal types. Included in your getaway package. Buck. Oh. Oh, it shows you the grid now when you're putting it down. That's very handy, actually. Remember in New Leaf, I had to like keep trying to put it stuff someplace else because I didn't know where it was gonna land. Build right there. Oh. Hopefully. See, we didn't even need Isabel to help us put things down outside. I love that wind. That wind. It's so nice. You're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more Okay. Oh. This is some Tom Nook remix going on right now. Okay, that is the plaza. Neat. your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day. Tom Nook never sleeps. Gotta make them bells. The sale of everyday goods. Oh, look at this dude's tropical shirt. Some clump of weeds. And helpful advice about living on a deserted island. I'm loving the music. That is definitely one thing I will say. a variety of items. First, just learn oh. the DIY recipe. The little recipe cards, that's cute. Okay. Then, choose what to make. Oh, look at the cool fence. That's neat. I don't think that little machine has changed. Wait, that machine might have changed again. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that machine keeps changing its textures. I think it was different again. Wonderful things, even on a deserted island. Oh, there was. Oh, I thought there was a lantern on the tree, but it was just in front of the tree. Okay. <laughs> so it's like retail doesn't need to exist anymore. Paint color, bedding. Oh, so the patterns are pixely still. I'm a little bummed by that, but we'll wait and see. It does look like they have some nice. Like, uh, anti-aliasing or something going on with the patterns, though, because they look a lot cleaner when you put them on something. Oh, little oven. The airport! Welcome to the airport. Thank you. I want to see what the inside of this looks like. I want to see that dodo. Oh, look at him! Look at him, he's so cool! <laughs> oh. oh, it's so neat looking. Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff to see. Oh, you can like whistle to get everybody to look at the camera. That's funny. Look at him. <laughs> the is good for more than trips oh, through the sky. card stand here it looks like you can message on a in -game card. Service, allowing you to send messages. Okay. Feel free to use this that's service cute. to interact with other So that's residents. like... Oh, I like that. That's neat. That's how you get the stationery now from inside there. 
and you could put a gift attached to it. Be your first nice. Time living somewhere so remote, on a deserted island, no less. Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in okay. aligning yourself with your new surroundings. I like how they're really playing up that this is a real Here's service. A life. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really falling for it here. Nook Inc. Will Tom Nook is legitimately real. Oh, some boxes. Do you open? You open them. That's so cool. Oh, I like that. Hey, look at the lighting. The lighting is so nice in this game. So this is still going over everything that we've heard before. But over time, we will provide new oh, there's a little helicopter. What is the helicopter? Hover over the helicopter, please. Needs. Of course you're not going to do that. I want to know what that was. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will Mr. make an island-wide broadcast to all residents, complete with a greeting, the latest <laughs> island event. I love that he's the star of the show again. And more. This is great. I was always sad that Tom Nook took a back seat in New Since Leaf. This is likely your first time on a deserted island. We're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook <laughs> Mileage Program. Inspiration. They're getting a lot of these like unique camera angles, and I'm wondering if you can get those in the game somehow. Because they look pretty cool. Angling for perfection. So we know all about these Nook basically little Nook challenges. I like those a lot. It's gonna give you a lot more reason to play the game every day. Look at all this little stuff. <laughs> and a little animation. The miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards. That is that that did change. There's now a little loop on the side of the texture of that. They curved it up. I don't know why they kept changing it. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Tool ring? Tool ring? Oh, okay. There's a little fan. Those are making a return. Every day, try collecting miles using the Nook Mileage Program. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Oh, Nook like the, these dynamic you. camera the angles. Is Look at the wit. Oh my God, so I love that. The atmosphere. Talk about some possible hitches you might encounter. Okay, Either tell me all about the hitches. This is one nature-rich island. It's okay. possible that you could encounter dangerous insects such as wasps or scorpions. Oh God, nightmares! If you get stunned, you may wow. look somewhat irritated. Oh, oh, jeez! You, you die? I don't think you can catch. I don't think you die, but he just fainted from bee stings. I get you some medicine. medicine available at residence a little weird that they're telling us about medicine, like that's something they wanted to highlight. Is this like a big deal? Are there a lot of things that could harm you on this island? Mushroom, little mushroom lights. Listen to this music. Oh, there's Wisp! Ghost! Oh! Gulliver, my boy! Oh, look at him! Which means you may come across a castaway from time to time. Look at him. Luckily, look at his shiny beak. Honk shoe, honk shoe, snoring sounds, etc. Oh, listen to his new little voice. It seems like there might be some new things to do with these original characters. Like Wisp looked like he might do something different. Yeah, let's see what the map looks like. Okay, it's pretty cute. Oh, and on the left, you can see where people live, where the animals live. Shows you their picture. That's neat. This guy's got terrible style. I just want to point that out. Oh. What? If you get... You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no That's Mr. Resetti. If you get lost, what is it? The rescue service. What is happening? Oh, it sends you back to your house. Oh, that's weird. Well, that was Mr. Resetti's music, but it wasn't Mr. Resetti's voice. That was weird. Is your island that big to where you'd need to just instantly go back to your house? I mean, it's okay. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? Okay. If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to say you could expand the island. <clears throat> That's some pretty long hair for an Animal Crossing character. I don't think the hair has gone that long before. 
Then again, I'm not a girl, so I wouldn't know that that well. Oh, so much here we go. Look at the windows. Those are neat. More detail. Look <laughs> at that little, furniture and baggage. little flower. Explain. Little leaf thing. That way, everything's nice and tidy. Put in storage. Wow, that's pretty handy. Your very own interior designer. This game looks beautiful, by the way. However you like. Really get the Place it vertical or horizontal. Thing. That's new. We've made it easy for oh. you to change patterns at any time. Okay. As you can see, here, uh, see, I don't like this. I mean, if you want to use it, that's fine. I just hated that in uh, Happy Home Designer. Because it's like... It's like you're just playing The Sims then, and it's better when you're controlling your character. So as long as I can move furniture normally, I'm if fine. I won't house, use that. But I just think that's very unanimal crossing. I'm not mad, but I'm just saying like, this. Oh. Because like Animal Crossing is not about doing things very quickly. It's about taking your time and relaxing. So I don't need it to be done really quick. Oh, little tickets come out. That's cute. What do those do? So you want to use your Nook Miles tickets. Oh, look at the little flap in the wings. What? Delta Oscar Delta. These far off destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. Are the is this like the new dream suite? You can take many items back home with you. Oh, maybe not, because you can take stuff. Or creatures. Okay. It's a nice change of atmosphere, and you may experience some unexpected encounters. Alright. If you can just go off to random islands like this though, will they still be in your season or will they be different seasons? Because that ruins the game, I think. Oh god, run! Oh, this is like really- Oh, jeez! That's pretty cool. Like, the layout of town seems really neat. Look at all these items. My god, it's like I have to watch this in slow-mo just to see all this stuff. So many neat things. A lot of tents here. So we've seen this at E3. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Leo. Allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together at the same time. It's pretty cute. You know about oh, look at the little mouth. Look at the little. <laughs> the, the second looking guy, he's got like a. Looks like he's got a wig on or something. <laughs> you can sit on the little bales of hay. Yeah, I think it's cute that you can play on the same system. Uh, it's something a lot of people obviously wanted to just play like together like this. So it's pretty cute. I wonder if you can kick the beach ball around. Oh, a crawfish! Dad caught a crawfish. So that is the uh, store items. Yeah, that's like the recycle box. Okay. We are developing a web service within the Nintendo Switch online app. Nobody uses that. Smart devices. <laughs> it's called Nook Link. Okay. As an example, the service lets you scan QR code patterns of Oh, that's how they're going to do it. Excellent. Okay, I will use this. Cuz that was a big part of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or Oh, you can even use the ones you made in the previous games. And then download them via Nook Link. Okay. Oh, it said display here, so I assume you can put patterns on the ground. Okay, you use the app to talk in the game. That's sort of interesting. Like text in the game. And of course there's voice chat. I imagine a lot of people will just use Discord, but... Soon after the scheduled departure, included in your deserted island Okay, so it's not going to be there on launch, but okay. It's coming the same month, the like island. 10 days within the launch, so. Well then, now that you've seen part one, are you interested in relocating to one of our deserted islands? I've already- Tom Nook, I will do whatever you ask me to. If you ask me to walk into the ocean, I will do that uh, for you. With me, the grand potential. Well, two, okay, part two. What was part two again? I forgot. Here we go. With the 
getaway package, you'll really get that deserted island bank. Oh, look at that. Is she going to try to catch it? With only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. Oh, doing some, oh, doing some morning uh, calisthenics over there by the beach. More residents and develop the look at them all. Into a bustling community. <laughs> For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. Okay. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. Okay. As such, we've secured this land in advance. Nice. So they can't move in on your hard work anymore. And in some cases, you may be able to invite some residents yourself. Okay. Keaton. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to... Oh, they oh yeah. Look at them. So cool. Exactly. What is that? Include a museum, a showcase oh, a shit! Whoa, look at this! All right, oh! A shop full of ready -made look at the shops! <laughs> it's so cool! It looks so great! Oh, there's a little dressing room? All right. Look at this. And of course, you got the one working and the other one is not. Oh, that's a little tent? Okay, that's the tent now. Oh, Rodney, you ain't moving in my town. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh my God, it's so neat! Woo! What are you about what's in the cabin? Here's what we have today. Oh, wait, that's a little weird. What is the? Okay, that's how you see that. What you got? Okay, that's the changing room. It's like they're not displaying the items on the shelves in the stores now. You see them by looking in a cabinet or something. I, I, maybe I missed it. I wasn't looking. Maybe there were items on the on the things. Okay. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the. That kid's got a 1990s teenager hairstyle. Oh, look at this! Got all these neat little things. Should the shop move here? Yeah. See, this is just what we what we assumed. You get to pick. Oh, there she is. What is she doing? She's got a little sweet tea. Isabel's got herself a little sweet tea right there. Remodeling. Oh, a fan. That's cute. In providing operational support. Oh. That way, we can offer the Let's talk island. Services and advice regarding the island flag. Discuss a resident. Okay. Your island. So you're curious about the current image of Nintendo. We're hoping to accept not only new residents, but also any guests who are tentatively paying a visit to the island. Okay, Lavelle is here. I'm fashion designer. I'm not sure. But there's Harvey. In these cultural oh, this game. It's so great. Look how pretty it is. This is gonna be so fun. Oh shit! A little wand that brings up style. I want that. There's Sahara. That's some good hair. That is a good hairstyle. Oh, Daisy May. Oh, what a name! It was snot coming out of her nose. A lot of you guys said I was wrong about that. Shoes. All right, that's good. Spring. For you to take part in. CJ, that his name is CJ. C Sports. And bug offs at the plaza in front oh, of the flick. services. Through free updates, we plan to introduce special events with seasonal guests and more. They're gonna do it as an update. We hope you continue to enjoy That's our weird. Services. That's interesting. We like as long as Halloween is still Halloween and Christmas is Christmas, I'm fine. But it's like they don't have them ready yet? Or do they just not want people to time travel to cheat and see them? I don't know. As long as they show the holiday characters, I'm cool. Ouch. Look at that. I'm playing some We Fit Outdoors up there. That's an ugly gorilla, though, so I'd be running like hell. This is a construction consultant counter. Okay, look at all this stuff here. Oh, okay. This is awesome. This is so good. I love the music. Did I mention that before? Look, at, don't talk to that. There's your bug and fish. I predicted that island designer. Island designer up to do some construction work. Dink. Okay, you just turn into a construction worker. It's that easy. Dirt path. You okay? So you can put your patterns on the ground as that. They nailed it. You guys, they knocked it out of the park with this one. Waterscaping? No. Oh! Wow! <laughs> what? That's so good! This, you can, like, literally... No. What? You kidding me? That's amazing! 
Oh my god! This is so good! Oh! <laughs> what? This is, okay, now it's coming together here. I mean, I was already excited, but now it's starting to feel like they're doing some major changes. You can make your island! What's this guy got going on over there? As you've seen today, the deserted island getaway package offers oh. you a wild new life surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. Oh, the little balloons coming back. Look at that fountain. Life in a perfectly planned community. This is this is great. Dink. The choice is yours. Oh, what is he doing over there? Oh, this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, it's a birthday party. <laughs> the deserted island getaway package. Oh my god. By Look at the, the museum's design is so wonderful. Is on track for March 20th of 2020. Oh, somebody's throwing that big ass fish over there. Look at that tuna. Ah, uh, is it over? Is it almost over? I don't want it to be over. Oh. I still have so many questions, but a lot of that was kind of answered there. Okay, now we're in part three. This is the frequently asked questions. I'm good. I mean, I still don't know whether or not you put your patterns on shoes. So I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to wait to play to figure that out. Did I miss something in the video? Okay. They've anticipated some specific questions. Okay, like, can you put patterns on shoes? See, Nintendo knew. They knew that was a, a very can frequently asked question. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system? We know the an yes. Moving on. One Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. Nintendo Land. The maximum number of residents for an island is eight. Each oh, look at that little fancy. Uh... One resident. Oh, oh. Are you sure is it? Yeah, okay. And each ah, this is literally just a month away. Look at dad watering the flowers. Does the game support amiibo? Oh, let's see what it is. Yes. <laughs> It'd be funny if they're like, no. Figures and amiibo cards. What do you do with them? Do you cheat with them like in New Leaf? That's Bunny's amiibo. Oh, she visits the campground. Oh, so it's just pretty much like it's cheating to get the best you animals in your town. Familiar faces to Photopia. And Photopia. someplace out there where you can place models and create a photo shoot. Oh, okay. So that that's I don't care about that. I thought it was going to be something interesting when we heard about Harvey and having his own little island. I thought it was going to be like photo contest stuff within your island. Do you have any more information about visiting friends? But if you like Amiibo, there you go. I'm happy for you. Online, you can I love this dodo. Or players not registered as oh. friends using temporary passwords. These temporary passwords. Via parental controls. Your dodo code trademark. In order to Look at that froggy hood. Island, some tools oh. like axes and shovels are forbidden in visits with friends. Okay. You can only use this tool when you're on a best friend's. That's pretty smart. However, See, you gotta you gotta vet all these people that might be naughty and destroying your town. Please use this feature when interacting with your closest friends. Ooh, the tree just fell on her, and she's okay. What if I lose my save data? You're out of luck. No, actually, okay. Not supported, but. However, There's a but. I like buts. Service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances. Okay. Console damage or loss. Okay. So at least it's there as an option. System to go along with the game. Well, yeah, we yes. know that. You already a told us. Edition, Animal Crossing <clears throat> system will be released on March 13th. Are they just waiting to tell us about whether or not you can put patterns on shoes, or, or are they gonna not tell us? The same day. <laughs> I like these cases. I might get the case. I don't know if I'm going to get this console. I want it, but I don't know if I can justify going out and buying uh, a $300 system, even though I own it. Okay, updates. Free updates. And we'll continue to provide free seasonal events throughout the year. I love it. That's good. The first free update will be on launch day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special event in April. Okay, I was going to say, you're not telling... I, I thought they were going to be like, you can celebrate Bunny Day in March. And it's like, that's not Easter. Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. Okay. 
They're promoting uh, New Horizons through Pocket Camp. I think Pocket Camp's going to be Details dead after New Horizons launches, but okay. From the official Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account. I never got into Pocket Camp. I feel a little sad by that, but also I don't. Once again, thanks so much for attending our information session. Oh, Tom Nug, I will see you in a month, my friend. After this presentation, I'll start sharing info directly on Deserta via the official Twitter. Okay. They need to give these characters something other than a Twitter. I can't stand Twitter. It's like the most toxic social media platform. Give them, a, give them an Instagram or a Facebook. Hey, he's clapping with one hand. There's Isabel. Hi. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, look at the little... Pl oh, I love the, the plane clouds. Whatever those are called. Exhaust. Um. I'm sad that it's over. Uh, okay, so what do I think? I, I think that was really good. I'm very excited. There were definitely, I would say, about three or four wow moments for me. Being able to actually chunk apart your, your town and, and literally design the shape of it is so cool. Um, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to put outside, which is really neat. I love the way the museum looks. My God. Uh, and yeah. You can put patterns on the ground, which is very cool. I was a little worried they would take that out. I love the way they're handling it. It's like your pattern just becomes mud in your little trowel, and you just... So you don't have to keep... It was so time-consuming to do that in New Leaf and City Folk, like one by one. Uh, so that's a huge improvement. And uh, yeah, the game looks really great. I'm satisfied. I was worried about the holidays, as some of you might know, because they hadn't talked about them uh, in previous stuff. Uh, and so to see how they're handling them, handling them is interesting. Like I said, I'm curious if they just don't have those holidays done yet, and that's why they're not going to be in the game from day one. Or maybe this is like they're saying, hey, we like the ability to change up the holiday maybe as the years go by. Or maybe, you know, we don't want people time traveling to see what all the holidays are right away and spoiling it for people. Um, but regardless, as long as, like, Halloween is literally Halloween in the game, I'm cool, you know? Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Um, that is probably going to do it for me, guys. I need to go take a nap, but I'm going to upload this right away. Hopefully you guys are very happy and satisfied with what they showed. I thought it was pretty fantastic. I would give it a... I'd give it an eight and a half out of 10. And I still feel like there's a lot of stuff they haven't talked about that we're just gonna have to discover ourselves in the game. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna sleep. When I wake up, I'm gonna start working on a 100 facts about Animal Crossing video uh, that will hopefully be up uh, sometime this weekend. But um, yeah, until then, I love you guys and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.